Hello YouTube. This is a review of the Nike Elite Championship Ball. This is the non-airlock edition. Uh, I did a review of the airlock edition a few months ago and I'll do a comparison of these two balls uh, to really give you a feel for what's different between them. Um, but I recently got this one. This is technically their Nike's older championship version so they came out with this one first and then recently in the last couple years have the airlock edition. Uh, I wanted to get this one just to get a feel for what it was like without that airlock feature. Um, if you watch a lot of the NCAA games uh, where Nike is sponsoring the ball, you'll notice that they're using this one and not the airlock edition um, that's out right now. So I wanted to see why they would take this over the newest one. Overall, great, great basketball. Nike really kind of hit it out of the park with this one. This is the classic eight panel ball. Um, this is high school approved um, size 7 this is the men's size ball you have to excuse my sons in the background doing a little commentary as well here um, great ball so when I first got it and got it on the court the first night I was not sure how I felt about it just didn't feel right coming off the basket it felt a little heavy um, just one of those dates where it was struggling to get the ball to go in the, in the basket uh, came back the next week and actually inflated it to the almost to the full nine pounds. So basketballs are recommended between seven and nine pounds per square inch. The second time I went out, I inflated it closer to nine, and it felt fantastic. Um, bounce, feel, sound, touch off the rim, um, everything looked and felt a lot better. Uh, so if you have a ball like this, I re personally recommend keeping this one up near that nine pounds per square inch um, it was a uh, it definitely definitely helped the, the ball perform um, same thing with the airlock this one has that kind of classic orange color which it, again that's kind of personal preference I, I like it I think it looks great um, doesn't have too much of the silver highlight and I think that can be something that some people like or don't like on the airlock, I, I'll show you in a comparison video, there's a lot more of it just because the airlock is all highlighted too. So this is a little subtle um, silver highlight compared to some of the other ones. Um, but overall, just a really nice ball. I mean, I can't complain too much. I would recommend this to anyone looking for an indoor basketball. This is a lot cheaper than, uh, say, like the NBA official, any full grain leather ball. Um, I think those balls are better indoor basketballs, especially when you get them worn in. Um, but this, uh, you can't go wrong if you want to, to buy an indoor basketball. Nike does really make a great ball now. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I'll, I'll be doing some comparison videos. If you want to see specific balls compared to each other, um, let me know. Uh, take a look at my other videos that I have. And... Uh, so, so you know what balls I have. I'm always looking for the next one, so hopefully I'll continue to have videos coming for you guys. But um, hope you enjoyed this. I, overall, I'm going to give this ball a good um, nine and a quarter score. I mean, it, it's not as good as some of the, my full grain leather balls. Um, excellent ball. Um, so I can't give it uh, can't give it the ten, but it's I mean highly recommend highly recommend it. Definitely a nine point two five. Thank you, everyone.